Are you looking to dress up your door for Halloween? Nicole from Pedal Pusher always has some great ideas and she joins us live from Pedal Pusher this morning. Hi, Nicole. Good morning, Rachel. So tell us about um, your doorway and the inspiration for it. Well, I wanted to do something with all natural materials and a lot of stuff that you can get out of your yard or at the farmer's market or from your favorite local florist, of course. So we, we put together a few different options using, just like I said, lots of organic things, different textures, and some fun fall colors. All right. Well, why don't you give us a little tour and show us what you did. Up here, this is one of the bigger pieces we put together. This is using beautiful bittersweet, which is a native shrub in the area. It's got these beautiful orange berries on it. And I created a topiary structure actually out of pussy willow. And what I love about using Pussy Willow is it's flexible, so I can bind it together with this ribbon at the top. And if I keep this in this pot all winter, it will actually get the little gray fuzzy Pussy Willows come spring. So it's a wonderful transitional thing. You can add evergreens for Christmas and then come spring, take the evergreens out and add some plants around the base of the Pussy Willow. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, I love things that you can transition through seasons. Down here in front, we put together some topiaries of some different grasses. This beautiful purple majesty millet and this broom corn. Durable things that will last. They can take the rain, they can take the weather, and you can bind them together with some ribbon to just give a little bit more tailored, polished look to it. How did you get them to stay in the pots? They're just tucked into soil. And what I like to do when there's potting soil in there, I like to put a little bit of um, packing peanuts in the bottom of the pot, those styrofoam peanuts, not the ones that dissolve in water, the old-fashioned ones. Um, put in there because that way when you get water in the pot and as that pot freezes in winter, that soil won't compress and it won't be as likely to crack a terracotta or concrete pot. Oh, very handy. Mm -hmm. And we have time Down for in one front. more. Okay, down in front here, this is my favorite, so I'm glad we're fitting it in. This is a grouping of just the stuff that you throw away from your gardens. All those grasses that you cut back, the fall leaves that you pick up. I nestled them all inside of the pot, dropped a pumpkin in top, and I think it makes the most adorable little pumpkin nest next to your front door. I love it. I can do that. <laughs> yes, yes you can. <laughs> Nicole, thanks so much. Nicole Campbell at Pedal Pusher. And uh, for more information, go online, fox11online.com, and click on Good Day Wisconsin, and we'll check back with her next hour for, for some more great ideas.